Hey everyone, if you guys are wondering how does the interview experience at startups like Observe.ai or other startup looks like, then this video is going to be for you. So feel free to watch till end. I'll be discussing all of these things. So if someone is new to the channel, uh, I would quickly give a brief introduction about who am I. So my channel generally talks about DSA and design, and I have more than 2000 uh, contest rating on lead code. Last year, when I went on a switch journey, I had received 10 job offers, which were more than 35 LPA, fortunate enough. And then meanwhile, during that time, I have given 100 plus interviews. And also over that years, I have solved more than 3000 coding problems on lead code, GFG, and some other platforms, right? Uh, so for better experience, watch this video at 1.5x. And also we do have uh, live streams every day at 10.30. PM, so feel free to join that if you have any questions. Uh, with that said, we'll start with Observe. Right? So if you guys are not aware about the company, it's a very well or a very nice startup. They do have really nice multi-product startup. They don't just have one product now. And uh, it's I think it's founded by one of the IATN. So that's another fun fact about the company. It's a really good company and also pays really well, right? So uh, my interview experience was for SG2, and I'm going to share all of these steps and also the resources in the end. Uh, with that said, let's get started. One another thing, so when I went on a switch journey, I received a lot of rejections and more, and then a lot of offers. So videos for Walmart, Microsoft, Goldman Sachs are already there on the channel. Feel free to give it a go. So with that, let's get started, right? Coming to first things first. Uh, resume and application, right? How did you, I apply? So this is clueless me as you might know from the other videos. Did not have much idea how to apply, how should your resume look like and stuff like that, right? So um, like regular viewers would already know, I follow one page, Jake resume template. And uh, that channel, that video is there on the channel where I have shared my resume. Feel free to take a look at it. And I applied directly on the portal, right? No referral, right? No referral for this. And then I would have applied to multiple openings, multiple openings at same company. So now if you guys are also wondering how did you apply, I would have applied more than 1000 plus openings in general across six months. And meanwhile, whenever I used to apply, I should I would not wait for the callback, right? I was just coding on the site. So that would be my advice. But there is a video on the channel. Uh, how did I apply? Feel free to watch that if you want to go into the deep dive, right? But uh, I'll not waste much time here as my videos tend to get long. So we'll be sticking to Observe AI. So I got an online assessment link after a couple of days. And uh, the online assessment was for 60 to 90 minutes i think i don't remember exactly the time minutes but there were two lead code style questions and both were medium both were medium and one one i would say was more of a medium and the other one was kind of hard right so if i have to say medium this was kind of b or bit c of lead code contest style wise that this was like a little bit like you can say easier version of D, right? Not that hard, but yeah, still I would say it's reaching the hard level, right? And um, I was kind of struggling with it, but as I regularly take participate in the code contest, I was doing that last year. I have participated in a lot of contests and also I had close to rating of 2000 back then. So I was able to solve both of these questions, right? And I would give myself rating of probably 9.5 or 10 out of 10 because I was able to solve both of these within time frame and 10 minutes or 20 minutes were left. So I was expecting that, okay, I would get a call. But if let's say you are preparing for these, then give virtual lead code contest every day. I know I would say this in every video, but give this every day, right? Spend 130, one so spend one hour and 30 minutes solving unseen problems right 
so whenever you give a lead code contest or whenever you give a virtual contest there is a probability that if it is a live contest it will always be that you are seeing a new problem but let's say if it is a um, virtual old contest you might have solved that problem while going through random problems but still right so do that right do that so this will help you in building speed and what not so after that uh, i got a call from the recruiter that i have been shortlisted for the next round and i'll be appearing for low level design so this was taken by another sd2 so interviewer was sd2 uh, he was from iit right and uh, then the question that was asked to me was like if you have gone through uh, different courses or if you have gone through all the low level design courses that was like generic design xyz problem and I won't be able to reveal the exact question but the resources that i would recommend here is that educative low level design course and aditya pratap's github repo right and then leverage the gpt and design systems yourself so these are the thing three things that i would advise that i use java for this particular thing and also one more thing that i really liked about this interview i had not seen the problem earlier and one more thing that i liked was that proper statement was given and judging criteria was also mentioned so for example uh, you have to take care of security aspect you have to take care of multi threading aspect you have to take care of design patterns aspect right so all of those things were mentioned in the question and i had to like reflect on that as well in the interview so each of those point carries marks basically so you have to be really cautious how you answer the question and then um, one more thing that there is a video there is a playlist on the channel watch playlist on the channel regarding low level design and also i have attached low level design notes so if i just show that one so this is the link that i'll be attaching but you guys should go to this so it has all the notes that i personally referred right i'll be coming to this in the resources section as well then coming to the hld so in hld again this was taken by i think sd3 so interviewer was uh sd3 and gain from tier 1 college uh then really like the people i interacted with were really great because this uh startup earlier was hiring only from iits only from tier 1s uh, and so that's why it really pays well as well uh, as i think now it started hiring from tier 2 as well so i am from kind of tier 2 or tier 2.5 not sure vit will or comes in which but i am from that uh, fyy so not tier 1 college definitely so in this uh, i was again given a design xyz problem this is more generic like uh, similar to design youtube etc the problem was not youtube but it was a design problem so again if you guys have read alex system design book if you have gone through educative system design course if you have read alex any one of these right you don't have to go through both i have personally gone through a lot of things that i'll be covering in the other section but alex system design book volume 1 only volume 2 is i think more advanced it is not required for 3 to 5 years of experience and then after that you have uh, github repo by karan pratap so that was the another issue so all the links are there i'll attach those links as well so this was the hld round again this was for uh one hour and use excali draw right i used excali draw this tool only that i am currently using right it's very well so you have to properly write functional requirement non functional requirement even on youtube i personally have created a design instagram video so watch this video to get a sense of how does an hld interview looks like right so that is, that should be your practice that you should be also able to solve design instagram in like 40 50 minutes don't target 20 minutes 
20 minutes why i create those videos because that is for uh, when you are for example revising right that's where the idea of creating those videos is so hiring manager like i think feel like i have given lot of lld and hld rounds these were practically both hardest round because these are unseen problems i have never seen these problems but once you have solved in a problem once you know the frameworks once you have know the design principles once you know what are the design patterns where to use kafka where to use caching where to bring in sharding of database how to handle the bottlenecks all of those things when you have learned properly you will be able to answer these kind of question or you will be able to present a certain good design in front of the interview right so with that said i was moved to the hiring manager right now in this there were two interviewers and this was again a very hard hiring manager round i have given so many hiring managers but this one was really hard so they kind of uh, focused on my projects what i did what i learned how i led right these kind of things they really focused on and so you have to follow star method if anyone is wondering so star method talk about situation task action result now i know that this is like the 10th video that i am creating on interview experience i have already created these videos still some of you guys might be wondering that why he is repeating the same and thing again and again but this is again for the new viewers as well and also to just emphasize that these are the basics so basics should be clear in all of the round right so if you are able to crack one company or if you have cracked multiple companies then the chances of um, cracking other companies also increases if you are well reversed with dsa lld and hld if you are preparing for sg2 rounds now this was basic but they grilled a lot grilled me a lot so and then again i was not expecting then the call back i thought that okay this is game over for me here but if i have to like rate myself i would probably rate 8.5 out of 10 here if i have to rate i would rate 9 out of 10 because there is always improvement uh, and here if i have to rate again 9 out of 10 because all of these were hard rounds so i would not rate myself 10 out of 10 in, in any of these uh then coming to the hr round so this was more of a culture fit round so before this i would i would uh, guide everyone is learn about the company learn about their principles there or not sure if we have to use eir or ere but uh, their principles and all kind of expected compensation uh etc etc right so uh, these were the things that were asked to me right and after couple of days i got a call from the recruiter that okay hey we have shortlisted you and then uh, we are ready to offer you and the offer that i got in that base was close to 45 just the base right and then you have esops which are kind of the stocks of the um of the startup with which have not really went ppo but still you get a share in that so once it becomes ppo then those esops uh, has a really good money right so really good value so that was the concept but even before that you are getting really good money just on the base part right so other companies other interviews that i talk about generally had base from 25 to 30 this was one of the that has like 25 base 45 base so that was about the base now i'll just take couple of minutes to talk about the resources so for dsa i only use lead code i don't lead code plus youtube that's it you don't need to look here and there i think this is good enough right for lld i have already mentioned that i use various thing i have used educative i have used github repos right and then chat gpt and then for hld again educative and then um hello interview alex i i probably should call it byte my byte go uh, and then uh, github repos right so all the links to this i'll be showing in a minute so all these links i have put together here right so if you want to connect with me one on one you can go to topmate and then or you can book a call with me right and then 
Uh, I also, I'll probably can show you some of the testimonials with people I have connected with. So this is, uh, you can first check the testimonials and then accordingly connect, right? And then these are the data structure resources. Uh, and then these are the low level design resources. And then these are the high level design resources, right? When it comes to educative, I have only gone through these two resources, the mock system design right this has all the designs in it high level and then the low level design right they have tons of other courses as well but these are the two that i would personally recommend you guys if you want to buy their 500 plan 500 rupees plan which will cost you just this you can book that and if you go via this link you will get extra 10 percent discount right if you are preparing for sd2s then that is definitely worth it so um, with that this was my observe a really good company uh, unfortunately, I had to reject this offer, but uh, this is really good uh, interview experience. It is a great company to work for. So thanks, guys. Uh, bye. Take care and have a nice day.